Charlie Hebdo was an irrelevant magazine that nobody was reading before 2015. So Charlie Hebdo made an intentional capitalistic decision mm. to publish inflammatory uh, graphics and content on Muslims because they did that to sell magazines, right? It was an economic move. I have Khalid Beydoun, and Khalid is himself a law professor at Wayne State University and author of American Islamophobia. There's a media fixation to really gravitate on culprits when they're in fact Muslims, right? If you were to survey statistics of um, mass shootings or individual crimes or deviant acts by individuals who are white or are non-Muslim, those seldom get any media coverage. Mm. However, if the culprit is Muslim, they get tremendous and immense media coverage. France is a powder keg. It's an Islamophobic powder keg where anti-Muslim animus has exi existed in that country for decades, obviously. It's been exacerbated by recent policy. It's been intensified by the war on terror. It's been intensified by the rhetoric we're seeing from uh, Macron. France is home to the largest Muslim population in Western Europe. Roughly 8 to 10 million Muslims call France home. Islam is not a foreign faith. It's a, it's a faith that's been practiced on French land for many decades and many centuries before these new diasporas came to France. Charlie Hebdo was an irrelevant magazine that nobody was reading before 2015. So Charlie Hebdo made an intentional capitalistic decision mm. to publish inflammatory uh, graphics and content on Muslims because they did that to sell magazines, right? It was an economic move. Yeah. So by virtue of being antagonistic and inflammatory towards Muslims, they're selling magazines and they're they're inciting violence. They're inciting uh, they're, they're inciting discrimination against the population in France, which is extremely vulnerable. Yeah. Right. Which is experiencing and enduring violence as a consequence of, their, of what they're publishing. It's critical to understand that freedom of conscience, the ability to exercise whatever religion you want to exercise, is tied to freedom of speech. So wearing a kufi, wearing the hijab, that is an expression that is tantamount Indeed. to verbal in, 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 in speech, essentially. There's repercussions if you engage in anti-black racism. There's consequences if you engage in anti-Semitism. There's going to be punishment if you engage in a different form of homophobia, for instance, right? However, Islamophobia stands as that final form of bigotry where not only are you going to, are you going to get an excuse, but you might actually get political reward. And that's exactly what Emmanuel Macron is doing, right? He's revving up his Islamophobic rhetoric in order uh, to essentially increase his chances of getting reelected. What we're engaged in right now is a rise of global populism, which is weaponizing Islamophobia as its primary tool. We see this in France. We see this in, see this in the United States, India, China, and the globe throughout, right? But it's our role as Western Muslims to serve as the intellectual vanguard and the intellectual compass, if you will, to reframe the debate in ways that deny these fictions that have existed for far too long.